Hi guys, it's the Walking Series Who Dead here, King of the Anime and Manga Unboxes, and I love of all things geeky here on YouTube. So this is going to be another one of my sustained literacy videos. If you've never watched one before, I basically show you all the video games, all the anime, manga, all of the comic books, and all of the geeky stuff that I've been picking up here on my channel. So let's check it out. So the first pickup I'm going to show you guys is an upgrade for my YouTube channel. I recently got the Blue Yeti microphone. This is a USB mic. I got this in midnight blue. It's like a sparkly uh, dark blue. It looks really amazing. I was quite tempted to get the blackout, but, you know, I decided to get this. Um, this microphone's basically like the gold standard on YouTube for the YouTube uh, microphone that everyone uses for, like, Let's Play. So in the comment section down below, let me know how the audio is in this new video. So first I'm going to show you all of the video games that I picked up. Now the first thing I got was Okami HD. Now this is a, a HD upscaling of the classic PlayStation 2 game, Okami. I've never actually played this game and I still haven't played it. I've still not got around to playing this. Um, this is basically like a really amazing Japanese sort of like fantasy game. I heard it's really long and it's really, really good. So this is something to go on the back catalogue of games to play. Uh, next up, I got the Rare Collection. Um, this has got things like Banjo, Kazooie, uh, Perfect Dark, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, um, a load of like rare classic games from back in the day. On like the N64, a lot of them were on that. Uh, next up, I got Yo Kiryot Chan Yakuza. <laughs> so I got Yakuza Zero. I've recently just lost my Yakuza virginity by doing the Yakuza remake, and I've got an entire LP recorded and ready to be uploaded. And I'm bang on. I'm going to start this tomorrow, Yakuza Zero, and I'm going to start LP in this bad boy. Um, misconceptions about this series: it is not Japanese Grand Theft Auto. This is incredible, amazing storylines, uh, really interesting characters, plot twists, drama, funniness. Um, this is such an underappreciated, underrated series that is a masterpiece. Holy shit! You sh I highly recommend you check out some Yakuza because it's definitely worth it. Uh, next up, I got another PlayStation 2 classic that's just been remastered that I've never played before, and that is Shadow of the Colossus. I'm really tempted to LP this after Yakuza 0, actually. Uh, basically, everyone says this is um, where you go around fighting 16 bosses, uh, and they're giant colossi, and you've got to take them down. Um, so this is apparently a very good game, and I'm going to get on it very, very soon. And I then got a classic game from my childhood that I've downloaded, but I didn't actually have a physical copy anymore. And that is Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, I never actually finished Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy X are the only Final Fantasies I've never completed. So this is potentially an LP. Next up, I'm going to show you some comic books. and I've got some really cool ones. Uh, first up, I've got Doomsday Clock. Uh, and hopefully this, this will come out on the camera. But this is a, uh, a 3D... Uh, cover art for Doomsday Clock. Um, this is basically the Watchmen sequel. I'm a massive fan of Watchmen. I really enjoyed the graphic novels as well as the uh, the movie as well. But this is really cool. Uh, this is basically where the DC universe meets uh, the Watchmen universe, uh, all to do with like Doctor Manhattan. So I got the first three versions, um, and I got like variant art as well. Uh, also, I picked up. Yo, here's Negan. So I've wanted this for a little while and I just never got around to picking it up, but I've got the Negan backstory finally. Um, if you check out my Walking Dead comic book reviews, uh, this will be the next one I'll do after the, this month's Walking Dead issue. So this is basically just Negan's backstory. Uh, it's really good, I really enjoyed it myself. And then I've got like a ton of variant art. We'll keep the variants there for now. What is this? This is 175 and 176. The new, 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 new world order. The new world order arc. So they're those versions. And I've then got the variant versions. Uh, this is the first variant, which I've actually got framed, which you can see. That's Rick Grimes. And then the next one is Michonne, which looks badass with a samurai sword. So yeah, these are amazing. Manga wise, I picked up some Jojo. Jojo. So, as always, I've picked up some Jojo. Stardust Crusaders Part 4. Yo, you can never go wrong with a bit Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. It is an amazing, amazing series. And then I got some Dragon Ball Super. So, I got the first part of Dragon Ball Super. Um, and I was really surprised just how damn fast the Dragon Ball Super moves. Wow, they, they, I mean, they really, really powered through this. Uh, and they're basically up to the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 arc uh, within the first volume, which is crazy. 
So recently I've picked up an absolute ton of anime box sets, uh, all on Blu-ray. Um, I got this mystery box that had seven different uh, limited edition Blu-rays inside of it. So there's a big video, go check that out. But I got more than just that. Uh, I picked up Claymore, the limited edition box set. I really love this series. If you're a big fan of things like Attack on Titan or Berserk, I highly recommend you go check this out because it's you know your typical revenge story. Uh, there's this girl called Claire. She's a warrior and she's going out for revenge on the person that killed like her master or the person that sort of like you know took her under her wing. And um, this is an incredible series, really really good. Uh, back from like the mid 2000s, definitely check it out. Go check out the manga as well. Uh, I've also got an old school classic. If you're a big fan of Cowboy Bebop, go check out Outlaw Star, uh, Gene Starwin. Um, they're basically like a bounty hunter. It's a very, it's very similar in a sense the concept to Cowboy Bebop. If you're gonna, if you enjoy that, go check out Outlaw Star. So, yo, we got some more Dragon Ball Super. So this is the Golden Freezer part of the anime uh, up to episodes 26. Uh, the introduction of like Super Saiyan Blue and Golden Freezer and you know all that crazy goodness. Can't go wrong with a bit of Dragon Ball Super. I then got the Eden of the East limited edition box set. This is basically about a guy that wakes up in front of the, the White House naked with a gun and a phone that's got like uh, 12 billion yen on it or something crazy like that. And he's got the orders to change Japan and there are, uh, I think it's like 12 other people with phones as well that have got to kill the other people with the phones. It's actually a really good series. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend checking out that. Uh, I then got Tiger and Bunny, the movie. Uh, this is a superhero uh, kind of like anime. It's like uh, everyone's like on TV and everyone's like a superhero. Uh, and they're all got like mecha suits. And this is like a really cool series. Highly recommend check it out if you're into your superhero anime series. Is. I then got a series that I've wanted to check out for a really long time. I haven't got around to even watching it yet. But I got Blood Blockade Battlefront. I believe this is done by the same guy that did Trigun. Uh, this is set in like New York City, like an alternate New York City, where uh, like a rift or a wormhole is opened up to where loads of these demons come through it, and then New York is like bubbled off from the rest of the world. So it sounds really interesting, and I can't wait to actually check it out myself. Uh, so yeah, what else did I get? I got Samurai Flamenco Part One, the collector's edition. This is about like a supermodel kind of guy, and uh, he he. he he goes as uh, Moonlights as a superhero. So another superhero series. I've heard good things about it. Still something I haven't looked into yet, even I've got it. <laughs> Here's another one that I really want to check out. Just hadn't had the time. Assassination Classroom, the collector's edition. This is part one. I believe this is about like an alien that comes down to Earth and he's going to kill everybody. But he basically decides to put everyone in a classroom and gives them the opportunity to sort of like save the world by killing him. Uh, but he trains them to kill him in a sense that's my understanding of the series it sounds really cool another series that i need to get around to checking out then we've got gankutsuo the count of monte cristo this series is amazing this is the steel book edition it's shiny it's gold it's absolutely amazing this is basically an anime retelling of the count of monte cristo but it's more of like a sci-fi cyberpunk kind of version of it i absolutely love this this is easily in my top five favorite anime it's got a really wacky and different animation style which is going to put a lot of people off but i loved it because it was so different and it's got such a good storyline so i'd highly recommend go checking out the county monte cristo it is really really good next up i've got free this is something i've heard zoro fanboy talk about a fellow member of the phantom group never checked it out this is essentially about a group of like high school kids that are into like swimming competition so it's um it's a sports anime basically so this is going to be put lower down on the list but i will get around to watching it at some point old free collector's edition uh and then i picked up your line april i know this is like a love romancy kind of like series apparently it's very good um this is something i got in my blind blu-ray box set uh, pickups kind of video so yeah at some point I will get around to this I'm not big into like rom com -y, romantic kind of like stuff but you know I've bought it so I'm gonna give it a try so the last blu-ray box set that I picked up was a movie called Tokyo Marble Chocolate this is another like romance series um, and I love the artwork on the box art um, this is really colorful it looks absolutely amazing as you can see there really really like the artwork so I got this really cool Lego Star Wars massive, massive book. It's got everything Star Wars Lego in it. You get a, a limited edition white Boba Fett, as well as this other bounty hunter. And it's just packed full of really, really cool stuff. The next thing I got was a load of Pokemon cards. 
Now over here in the UK at McDonald's uh, in the Happy Meals, we got cool Pokemon cards. So I got things like a Magic Carp, as you can see inside there. Uh, other cards I got like Pikachu. So like each week, you know, something different would come out. So you got Lit in there, as you can see. Uh, you got Diglett. Now I didn't get the full set, which is a bit sucky. There were a couple I missed out on. Like I really wanted like a Squirtle and some of the other cards. You know, which I missed out on. There you go. So, yo, yeah, that's really cool. And I also got another blind uh, booster pack of cards from eBay. And this time I got a pack of 50. And this is every single generation. You got things that, um, that are rare, not rare. You get like shinies and everything like that. Usually I go for like, you know, Team Rocket, Fossil, base kind of stuff. But this time I thought I'd go for a load of different Pokemon cards. And I'm going to do another Pokemon card update. Because uh, I've got a load of new stuff in my folder that is Pokemon wise. So thanks for watching the video guys. Now in the comment section down below, I want to know from you guys out there what anime you've been watching, what new video games you've been playing, what comics and manga you've been reading, you know, what geeky stuff have you been doing recently, yo? Uh, have you been going to the cinema? Like, I've recently just watched uh, Black Panther. Yo, Killmonger, he's awesome. So, yeah, I want to know what you guys have been doing geeky-wise out there. If you enjoyed the video, please give it the old thumbs up, share it around, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You'll get more of my gameplay videos, more of my anime, manga, and comic book stuff pop up in your feed so you can geek out with me. So, thanks for watching, guys. May the sun never set on the British anime empire.